Well, during the pandemic and obviously the lockdown, we've been in the countryside, luckily enough. So um, spending time with the family, spending time with the kids has been very precious. And we've been walking a lot, so I've enjoyed that. So I've been keeping busy um, with the kids because obviously we've been homeschooling them. So that has kept us very busy. It's important to have kept the children in, uh, in a routine. So uh, they have enjoyed that. So that's been a really important part of lockdown. But I think that obviously being able to get out and walk uh, and try and you know, do as much fitness as possible with the kids and with our dogs has been very special. Well, actually, I've been very lucky because I asked the question of fans to actually give me some ideas how, of how I can keep busy uh, around this time. So I've had lots of ideas, so I want to say thank you so much for that. So one of the blessings of obviously having this lockdown has been spending time with the kids, spending time with the family, Victoria, um, and also finding new hobbies. I've been doing a lot of gardening and a lot of beekeeping, so I've really enjoyed that. Well, I think it's been challenging for, for everybody um, globally. So I think that what we tried to do as parents, me and Victoria, is make the children look back at this time as positive and as happy as possible. And I think how we've done that is you know, making sure that they are in a routine which keeps their little minds active um, and just doing things where we always said, me and Victoria at the start of this, that we want the children to come out of this thinking, oh, remember when we went through that lockdown, how great it was, how much fun we had and, and, and the, the, the enjoyable times. Well, luckily, my career took me into uh, where I had to continue to eat the right things, to drink the right things, and to stay fit and healthy. But obviously, since I retired, uh, there was, there's been different challenges. So what I've tried to do is stay as healthy and as fit as I can, but doing you know the little things that make a big difference. You know, trying to get more sleep, trying to drink more water. Um, and just going for walks with the kids and with the dogs. And for me personally, that is what has helped me after retirement from football. I think one of the things that I've learned from this time and obviously from being in the lockdown with my family is things have slowed down a lot and we've been able to take stock of uh, the really important things in life. I've always tried to be positive in life and in my career and obviously I went through some difficult moments where um, it, uh, it could have been difficult for me but I was always surrounded by the right friends, family, teammates, the right manager and had amazing fans so it got me through the difficult times. Now it was very interesting speaking to Jose and spending the time down at Spurs because I got to learn how he looks after players, how he talks to players and how he encourages players to be positive. I think I was very lucky to be part of great teams with great teammates, great managers, great fans. You know, being at Manchester United, being at Real Madrid, being at AC Milan, uh, being at PSG, being at the Galaxy and of course playing for England. They were all big teams and it was always a pleasure to be part of those teams. But now I have my own team in my business and also to be part of a family like AIA for me is very special. I'm very proud to be part of AIA and to be global ambassador because when I speak to people that, that are part of this family with AIA, it's very inspiring. It's very inspiring to hear that all the ideas that you come up with to help people live healthier, longer, better lives. So lastly, I would like to say thank you so much for having me today. 
Uh, it's a real honour for me to be AIA's global ambassador and my last words to be for us to all come together and to be kinder to each other, to live healthier, longer, better lives.